Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys an amazing application that allows you to create amazing widgets just like this one, this one, or this one, and every single widget is fully customizable. Now, in a prior video, I already talked about this application, but some of you guys reached out to me and asked me to give you some more details because this application has a little learning curve. So let's dive in and get started. So first and foremost, to download the application that's going to allow you to create these widgets right here, all you want to do is click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. On my website, you're going to go to this article. All you have to do to get this one is download app number one you just click on this link right here it's going to take you to the play store and boom you're able to download the application now once you download the application let me show you what exactly you have to do so let me just uh, kill this over here so we're going to use this blank screen as an example so you pinch the screen you tap on widgets and you look for the custom widget components you tap on this 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 means we have seven components you tap on it, you have all these various sizes. So let's grab a three by three, okay? Just as an example, I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna dump it onto the screen, and then what you have to do is uh, you can resize it as you please before you start to customize it. So let's leave it right here, and then you tap on click to actually uh, configure your widget. Now first, let me just tell you the easy stuff. So if you go to the feature, okay, you can download all kinds of packages from this screen, all right? And I do want to let you know, as you scroll down, some of these uh, packages will say pro, so that means you have to pay for them, but a lot of them right here are free. For example, this one right here is a, is a whole bunch of widgets pre-built for you. You can tap it, it'll take you to the Play Store. You install this, all right? And once the installation is complete, all you do is you go back into your uh, KW widgets and you go to installed and you'll see your new stuff right here on the top. And what you can do from there is you can explore these uh, widgets one by one or you can tap on that particular package and then they will give you the breakdown of all the available widgets for that package. So just one example here, you can grab amazing things just like this one. You tap on this one, so that's let's say that's what you want on your screen. You tap on save, you're done. You go home, and now you have that widget right here. Looks phenomenal. You got the time, the date, you got the weather, and you have little app icons right here. At any given time, you can tap on this one. It's going to allow you to customize that widget, all right? And that's the key. The fact that you can customize all these widgets. Let me give you one example. So I'll use this widget right here as an example. So once you have a widget on the screen, all you do is you tap it again, and that takes you back into that customization screen. And all the components of a given widget are going to show up at the bottom here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, if you look over here, this one here says Batteria. So that's a different language. I'm going to make that into English. So all I do is I look for the portion over here, the text that says battery, I tap on it, and then all I do is I find the text portion of this. I can change the font too by tapping on this one, that's fine, but I'm going to go for this one for now, and what I want to do is I want to change the formula to battery. So I'm using text right now on this one, that's the text preview. I'm going to say OK, and now that says battery. If I want to change the font, I can do that as well. I can grab something like this that looks a little more modern, right? By the way, I know I misspelled the battery, so let me just fix that here. Let's go back, battery, all right? So now that says battery. Now let's say I want to change the color of that round bar. That's a battery uh, indicator right there. So again, I want to go back, all right? Let's see what we're looking for here. We're looking for the progress bar, which is right here. You tap on it, all right? And then I can tap on color, and right now we have a white and a pink color. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to go for green and red. So I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to make this uh, green. Look at that. That's how much battery I have already. And then I'm going to go for red. That means the battery that's dying out. So green, red, I can click save again. And but like this, you can change every aspect of a widget. You can even change this photo that's right over here. So let's go back here. You tap on back to go to the main screen. So it says here we have an image. I can tap on the image, I can tap pick image and pick a different image to put right here 
and then I can even change the size of that image. So let's just pick another image here. Uh, let's just pick this one as an example, right? Just as an example, I'm going to tap on this one. That's the image that is going to appear in the back. Uh, again, I can change the size of that image. I can even change the opacity. So if I want it to be uh, see-through, I can make that happen as well, okay? You can pick anything you want. You can change the size and everything. And then when I save that, go home, that's the image I'm going to end up seeing. So that's the level of customization you can achieve uh, on this, on these widgets. Change every single variable. Uh, let's just show you one more example. Over here we have Saturday. I tap on this one. Uh, this one comes as an overlay group. So we're going to tap on the, that. It's going to expand everything. So it's Saturday right there. That's the text. I'm going to tap on it. And what I want to do is I want to change the color of that Saturday from uh, black to white. I go to paint. I tap over here and I get the white color. Okay. Then I click on save and that's it. I can also go back to text here and change the font to something that I like even more. Uh, something a little more robotic maybe. Look at that. All right. And then it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to change the size a little bit. There we go. Oops. That was a little too much. Okay. Now I save. I go back home. That's what I have right there. Again, that's something you guys requested that I make a video about and show you. So there it is. You can fully customize these widgets. But the main point is, remember, let's go over here. Uh, the main thing, the, 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 the steps you want to follow, you pinch the screen, you go to the widget, you tap on which size you want. Let's just grab this one again as an example. Then you resize it to where you want to fit it. Once you're done, you tap it. You go to feature, download the packages you want. Then you go to install and you explore the packages you want. Let's tap on this one. And then you pick the images you want. You can pick this one right here. It's going to be right there. And then you save it. Let's see how it looks. Looks great. If you like it, that's great. If you don't, you can go and customize by tapping on it. Just like that. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Again, go to my website. Go to this title. The link is going to be down below uh, to this page. Scroll down. And here's app number one. Click on the link, boom, takes you directly uh, to the actual application. Just download, and then you're going to be good to go. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.